Where does it start for you? Is it an idea, a character, a feeling? How does a novel become a novel? This is to begin with the most difficult questions first. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> you kind of don't know, really. Um, I can tell you that my, where, where they come from. Yeah. I can tell you that my first novel, Coming From Behind, which you've been kind about, came was, I mean, it's very simple to describe what, what made that novel happen. Desperation. <laughs> Desperation because I'd always thought I would be a novelist. I'd always wanted to be a novelist. I'm very old-fashioned in this that I am, you know, the great tradition of, of English, English novel writing to begin with, but European novel writing and American novel writing as well. And I don't remember a time when I was interested in anything else. I must have, I must, I must have wanted to be Superman or an engine driver when I was three, but I don't think so. I like to think that from the age of about six, I knew I wanted to write late Henry James kind of novels. It's possible I exaggerate. I exaggerate this a little. But I always wanted to be a novelist, and then the years started to go by. I made the classic mistake, except I... No, that's, that's the wrong thing to say. Um, it wasn't the classic mistake, but it was a classic mistake as far as speed is concerned. I studied English literature at university, and that slows you down for all sorts of reasons. Um, particularly the kind of people that I was taught by in the course I did, we, the standards were so high that you could only feel, you were meant to feel you were no good. Right. And if anybody ever wrote anything, it was like breaking rank. It was an improper thing to do. Um, and because we had such a high standard about writing and we admired such, such books, uh, it was impossible to write for a long time. I wanted to write The Golden Bowl, I wanted to write Crime and Punishment, I wanted to write Anna Karenina. They had all been written, which was one problem. But I wanted to write at that level, and it wasn't happening. I wasn't having, I wasn't writing novels and, fa and submitting them and failing them. I just wasn't getting beyond the page. And then I became an academic, and so I could say, well, I'm this now. I'm writing lectures about Middlemarch and, and persuasion, and that's almost like writing. And the years go by, and the book's not appearing, and your father is when you go and see him saying, so that novel then that you were going to write when you were three, where's that novel then? And being baited by your father is particularly annoying. And I got to my middle thirties and still no novel. And des truly desperation. It was desperation. It was something that I have to write a novel.